One house is considered unlivable after a standoff that happened a week and a half ago. In total, three local residents need some help fixing their homes, and the city of Sparks is collaborating with one nonprofit to provide that help. Jaden Urban shows us more. We really don't see these kinds of things in the city of Sparks. I mean, these are nice, quiet, working class neighborhoods. Sadly, no, no one will ever have a normal life again after this, after what they had to see and deal with with all this. The last home where the suspect was found dead suffered the most damage. Sparks Police Chief Chris Crawforth anticipates that home to take at least five months before it could become livable again. That resident is currently staying with a friend until she can move back. The second home is livable, but there are bullet holes in some of their appliances. And the last home was not physically damaged, but the city is working to get them medical and mental health treatment. Chief Crawforth says it will be a while before these residents can go back to a somewhat normal life again. Time, I think, for everything. Getting uh, homes repaired is obviously time, but really probably the trauma I assume that they're experiencing and can't speak to that because that's on them. It's just the time of being comfortable in their homes again. The Builders Association charity, in collaboration with the city, started the Sparks of Hope Fund to assist the three residents. The charity donated $2,500 to the fund already. There is no set goal for the fund as the cost for repairs is still not determined, but they say they wanted to do their part to give back. That we hope is a small uh, gesture on our behalf at least towards the rebuilding and the healing of this of this local community as well as the people's impacted. The city is lending a helping hand to others in the neighborhood. Yes, it did affect three residents personally. It affected a whole neighborhood. So those of them that had to secure in place and things like that during the hours long standoff, yes, there are things that they will need assistance with too. Covering the story, Jaden Urban, 2 News Nevada. And we have a link to the fund in our news link section of our website, 2news.com. If you would like to help, as well as find a list of resources for other neighborhoods, you can find that on our website too.